our deepest longing longing for love in john chapter 4 verses 5 to 8 it says so jesus came to a town in samaria called sichar near the plot of ground jacob had given to his son joseph jacob's well was there and jesus tired as he was from the journey sat down by the well it was about 6th hour or noon when a samaritan woman came to draw water jesus said to her will you give me a drink his disciple had gone into the town to buy food verse 9 it says the samaritan woman said to him you are a jew and i am a samaritan woman how can you ask me for a drink for jews do not associate with samaritans acceptance many times acceptance. many times people look down on certain community or certain people jesus accepts the way we are nobody is perfect we all long for someone who will accept us the way we are we sometimes reject ourselves cannot accept the way we are maybe overweight dark complexion or something else embrace who you are same chapter verse 10 and 11 jesus answered her if you knew the gift of god and who it is that ask you for a drink you would have asked him and he would have given you living water the woman said sir you have nothing to draw with the well is deep where can you get this living water are you greater than our father jacob who gave us the well and drank from it himself or did also his sons and his livestock many a times we go on doing things without knowing why we are doing it in india many times i have seen if a cat crosses the road while someone is driving people consider it as a bad omen many times the driver run over the cat out of the superstition verses 13 14 15 jesus answered everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again but whoever drinks the water i give them will never thirst indeed the water i give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life the woman said to him sir give me this water so that i won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water verses 16 17 18 he told her go call your husband and come back i have no husband she replied jesus said to her you are right when you say you have no husband the fact is you have had five husbands and the man you now have is not your husband what you have just said is quite true everyone looks for love many in today's generation or even previous generation are having fear of marriage fear of commitment many have fear due to they got rejected and had bitter experience in their past many prefer live in relationship pros and cons likes dislikes and behavior of a partner can be known in a better way couples can analyze whether their relationship will be compatible in the future or not divorce rates will gradually decrease break up after marriage is more difficult than breaking up before getting married marriage will not be due to family pressure or social obligation a sense of understanding and maturity is developed amongst the partner which helps them to be with each other in their later life domestic violence reduces gender equality is maintained between them as both of them put equal efforts there is a choice of walking away if they don't feel that their relationship is healthy enough it generates trust and love between the partners
Even in today's time, many prefer women who are virgin, so it becomes difficult for women if the relevant relationship does not work. There is no social responsibility, so he she can misuse this and change partners. This will obviously hurt the sentiments of many communities. Walking away from a relationship without trying to sort out problems is not good. Some people will feel insecure after some time, especially girls, as the future of their relationship remains uncertain. Children born out of living relationship will have to face social stigma. In the case of breakup, coming out from the relationship will become very difficult and hence many lead to depression. It may cause a sense of discomfort for the people living around. Most of the time, the living relationship goes against the permission of elders. The choice is yours. We cannot say whether a living relationship is good or not. Moreover, it is your choice as you have to spend your entire life. Nothing can be said right or wrong. Thinking makes it so. So if you feel that you can't handle the responsibility of marriage without knowing each other and you need space and freedom, then you may live in but also be mentally ready for the consequences in the future. After all, the foundation is strong. You can cross even barrier with your loved ones. This is according to an article online. There is an emptiness. Jesus counseled the woman. Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain. But you Jews claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Woman, Jesus replied, Believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know, for salvation is from the Jews. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshippers the Father seek. God is Spirit and His worshippers must worship in the Spirit and in truth. The woman said, I know that Messiah called Christ is coming. When He comes, He will explain everything to us. Then Jesus declared, I, the one speaking to you, I am He. Jesus demonstrates the reality of healing in redemption. In the verse 24, God is Spirit and his worshippers must worship in the spirit and in truth. In John 8 verse 31 and 32, the truth will set you free. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Many Samaritans believe. Many of the Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they urged him to stay with them and he stayed two days. And because of his words, many more became believers. They said to the woman, we no longer believe just because of what you said. Now we have heard for ourselves and we know that this man really is the savior of the world. I know a guy, Bhola, who got married and had a beautiful child. One day due to some arguments, his wife along with his child left him and went to a distant land. The guy was left alone. He looked for love, yet he was afraid of love, fear of rejection, as Bhola knew he was not perfect and couldn't keep up to his wife's expectation. He found love in Christ, especially in verse John 3, 16 and 17, where it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his 
only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him the guy found loved in christ somehow through that love he got strength to love more his wife and child he waits and sometimes knocks at their door he finds love in suffering and patiently waiting and definitely in loving and serving others with the love he received from christ bhola which means foolish is he really foolish or wrong in waiting patiently and long suffering for his family should he move on what do you say maybe the samaritan woman moved on and so are many where is peace the living water or redemption or salvation we all have emptiness we all long for love many wait patiently for their loved ones many move on what according to you we should do where we should go for our acceptance counseling or redemption and salvation